Miro versus Mural. If you are looking for software for intuitive design, you are in the right place. We're going to take both of these software and we're going to put them head to head. We're going to see what features they have, what drawbacks they offer and which one you should use. So let's dive in. All right, so let's jump straight into Miro now. Miro is a visual collaboration reimagined app. This is amazing. So Miro is a digital whiteboard platform designed for global teams. It was founded in 2011 and now it's used by millions worldwide. It's also transforming remote collaboration across various industries. Let's have a look now um, at their infinite canvas. Now, if you've ever used Miro and you scroll out, you, you zoom out, it's literally got an infinite canvas. Okay, so it provides an unlimited digital workspace for capturing ideas. It supports complex project visualizations with ease and the drag and drop interface ensures seamless content creation. It really is awesome. It has a real time collaboration as well for global teamwork. If you are working in a remote team, it really is fantastic. It offers instant engagement. It facilitates real time collaboration across geographic boundaries. It gives you live editing. Um, it supports simultaneous contributions from team members at the same time. And it supports over 130 third party app integrations. Some of the other things here is the template library. Now, the template library is also one of their vast features. Um, if you're looking to access a pre-built template, they have over 4,000 of these and it is constantly growing. If you have a look at the Miroverse um, and the community contributions, there are tons being created every single day. Um, it supports UX design, product management and marketing workflows. And using a template can actually reduce project setup time by 70%. It really, really does work. Having a look now at the AI features, um, they have content generation. So um, the Miro Assist generates content as well as ideas, workflows, images. Um, you can do conversation summaries and you can also use their smart recommendations. So it helps you to really get the best out of your presentations. It also has some integrated communication tools. Um, you can do video conferencing face-to-face. So, uh, -face. You can do real-time messaging. And then you can also use their screen sharing feature, which is absolutely fantastic. Having a look at one or two of their drawbacks, um, there is a performance challenge that we are looking at. Um, large boards can really slow your system performance if you don't have an amazing machine. Um, like me, I don't have an amazing machine, so larger boards are really laggy. Um, one of the other things is um, it has a bit of a steep learning curve. If you are a new user, there's tons of features and there's tons of things to do. So it can be a little bit um, scary when you first using it. And then also um, they have limited offline access. So if you are looking to access it with, uh, within areas where you have a bad internet connection, that will definitely hinder you. Let's dive into Mural. So Mural is a collaborative digital workspace. It offers teams a shared visual platform. So let's dive into more of their features. Mural has interactive canvases. This is the heart of their collaboration features. It offers unlimited whiteboard space and uh, you can pretty much do anything you want. It gives you a vast digital canvas for brainstorming, planning and everything else in between. It also supports real time collaboration and it gives you a very easy to use drag and drop functionality. You can add sticky notes, images, mind maps and a whole bunch more. You can enhance your collaborative experience with this dynamic canvas and it can adapt to your team's needs. Also, it offers advanced facilitation tools. So basically, you can supercharge your workshop. It has a native timer, which helps you to keep activities on track. It also has a summon feature, which allows you to direct teams attention to uh, specific areas of the canvas. 
It has comprehensive templates to help you jumpstart your projects. It has custom journey mapping, sprint planning, brainstorming and project management. You can choose from up to 400 pre-built templates. If you don't find a template here, you're in the wrong place. You can streamline your workflows with easy to use ready-made solutions. And the types of templates span um, from different use cases, uh, different types of templates, there's tons. One of the other things that we need to just consider here is one or two of their drawbacks, their limitations. It does have quite a steep learning curve. Um, it may require a little bit more time as a new user to get into Mural and see what it actually offers you. So there you go. You can see that both of these platforms have amazing features. They do, of course, have one or two drawbacks we need to take into consideration. However, the takeaway here really is to go ahead and use them and see what works for you specifically. If this was helpful, you can go ahead and drop us a like to show your support and we will see you next time.